can pay my bail now. Cash? No problem. Do you take singles? Get back in line. They're here. Good job, Murphy. I think you're forgetting someone. Officer Lewis, you were remarkable. Soot ran off with his tail between his legs. Would have been nice if we caught him, though. All right, all right. Are you done with this circle jerk, huh? Good. We've got a problem. The malfunction caught on camera provokes a question. Can we put our safety into the hands of a machine? Especially one as unreliable as Robocop. We asked Max Becker, the head of security concepts at OCP. Now quiet! We would never put a defective product on the streets. That's not what we do. We all saw it hesitate in a life and death situation. Why? Does it really know right from wrong? Listen, I would trust this guy with my kids. I mean, if I had any. This was just an isolated glitch. Thank you. Mr. Becker, I I've got more questions. I just want to snap her little neck. But she's got a point. This was not an isolated incident. It's a pattern. A pattern that the old man once examined and fixed. Time to see what's hiding in that metal head of yours. We know what's in Murphy's head. It's what's in yours that worries us. Push me, and you might just find out. You, follow me. Everyone is dismissed. And Lewis, I need your report on the TV station incident. On the double. On it, Sarge. your breath. OCP isn't looking to spend a dime on our equipment. I can deal with blood, guts, but puke is a no-go for me. I'll be a sport and move his ass to the drunk tank for me. You've got your special gloves and extra protection, so you shouldn't mind. Just take him downstairs. I owe you one, Murphy. Oh no, the smell is following you. I'm gonna be sick. I don't remember getting on a, a roller coaster. Look who's back home. Just toss him in one of the empty cells. Ah, uh, finally. Home. Sleep. Robo right. pig! Why do you have to spoil our fun all the time? You metal freak! Seems to be the problem. <sighs> My damn locker won't open. Can you try? Wait, what is all this 
this shit doing in my locker? We wanted you to be safe out there. Yeah, you guys, very fun. Where's my favorite walking, talking law enforcement machine? Okay, let's get on with it. Why don't you take a seat for me? That's a nasty scar. I'd like to see the other guy. Am I right? You do not. Trust me. Don't mind me. I'll just get this off. So, here's the deal, Robo. The old man is not happy with your performance. Instead of sending you to the scrapyard, as I suggested, he wants to fix you. Hey, pretty boy. You sure know how to make an impression on the ladies. Doesn't it hurt him? Hurt? Lady, he's a machine. He's legally dead. We can do whatever we want with him. No, madam. It does not hurt me physically. So we're going to equip you with a little monitoring chip. It will do a real-time check of your systems so we can get to the bottom of what the hell is wrong with you. From now on, your performance will be monitored and graded. So, better be on your best behavior, huh? The chip is in. Let's see what we have here. Well, I can already see some unwanted activity in your hippocampus. We'll have to keep an eye on it. Other than that, 
Everything seems to be installed correctly. To be sure, let's make a simple test to check that all circuits are in order. What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust. Protect the innocent. Uphold the law. Okay, nothing disturbed. However, like with any new upgrade, I recommend visiting the range to check if you need calibration. Is that everything? Actually, no. Doctor? Oh, yes, sorry. Uh, my name is Dr. Olivia Blanche. I'm a police psychologist. I specialize in dealing with police officers suffering from emotional trauma. Emotional trauma? Might as well talk to the microwave. It hasn't been working properly either. OCP wanted to see if you'd be willing to have a talk with me as part of your evaluation. I noticed that a great deal of care has been put into making sure that your mechanical components work. However, one aspect of your composition that has been severely neglected is your human side, your brain. I agree. If it was up to me, I'd remove it altogether. What do you think, Doctor? Would save us a lot of hassle. I don't mind the hassle. So what do you say, officer? Is that possibly something that could be of interest to you? I am not sure. Robo, Reed wants everyone in the briefing room at five. It's about the new guy. Excuse me, Dr. Blanche, but I am needed elsewhere. Uh, but we... Well, can't say we didn't try. Everyone get back to whatever the fuck you usually do around here. Murphy, could you please help me out here? What seems to be the problem, officer? Reed is in the briefing room, and I have my hands full. There are so many complaints filing in that I can't keep up. It's getting crazy in here. Could you open up another line and help me? I am here to serve the public trust. Take the spot on the podium. You're a lifesaver, Robo. This line is open. Please form an orderly queue. Officer, I have a problem. My neighbors are lost of the war. Why would they get... What is his name? He has a few... Your behavior disrupts public order. I must issue a ticket. That's fine. I don't mind paying the price for having the cutest dog. Next. Uh, I, I want... Are you blind? I will have to... Fine, but... You can hope for a reduced sentence. Uh, that's not the reward. It'd be good to get back to jail. Take him away. Next, please. Officer. How old? He's 20. How long has it... Just over two days. We do not consider... Oh, please. What is his name? George Elkins. Let me check your son. Was he... What? Thanks for the help, Murphy.
Hi, Murphy. Murphy, I heard you're scheduled for calibration. Step right up and press the button when you're ready. 50 points is what OCP calls a passing grade. Shouldn't be a problem to you. Try to break the record. Good job. I'll let the eggheads know that you're good to go. See you in the briefing room. So, what's on today's agenda? The agenda is that you sit your ass down and listen. It's no secret that crime has been on the rise ever since what the media has named the new guy in town showed up in the city. The word on the street is that he wants to spend a lot of money in old Detroit, and that has made every gang in the city start advertising their services. We need to find him before things get out of control. Where do we look? Our best bet is to see if he made contact with the torch heads. Robo, I want you to start by checking the arcade downtown. It's become a high activity area for punks. Understood. Everyone else, keep your eyes open. Any questions? Any word on Briggs? What happened to Briggs? He's been missing since yesterday. Shit. Officer Briggs remains missing. That's over 24 hours since he's been in contact with anyone here. Are the two cases connected? No reason to assume so. But if anyone finds Briggs informant, we might learn something new. All right, now get out there. You go ahead, partner. I need to write this report. And there's something else I need to do first.
Tractor's ready for you, Robo. Go get him. You came to clean up this city, didn't you? It'd be easier to burn it all to the ground. Believe me, just burn it all. stormed into my office. Apparently, his niece's car has been stolen. Find it. This goes to the top of your priority list. You can start by asking about it at some of the local garages. For the record, it's a blue SUX 6000, registered to Melissa Kuzak. One parking ticket is all it takes to improve mindfulness.
Hey, I might be a little late filing my tax return, but sending a one-man army seems like an overreaction. I am here to investigate the theft of a blue SUX 6000 that belongs to Melissa Kuzak. Fancy car and fancy name. But I hardly ever get the pleasure of dealing with either. Do you have any information about the whereabouts of this vehicle? To be honest, I did some work on one of those cars recently. But I can assure you that it was not the one you're looking for. Do I have your permission to search the shop? I know what the world's like. But can a man go about his business without being harassed all the damn time? I can come back with a warrant, but then I will not be knocking. You think that's going to scare me? This is Detroit, for God's sake. People try to threaten me nearly every day. I do not try. You know what? If you really think you'll find evidence of that SUX ever being here, then be my guest. See, I've told you, you'll find Jack all, because there ain't nothing to be found. This place is legit. I need access to one of your lockers. I can't allow that. It's my worker's private possessions. You said your shop has nothing to hide. The locker you have in mind belongs to a boy named Scott. He works for me on and off. I have to admit, I had a tiny feeling he might have something to do with your case. I will open his locker for you, 
but I won't be held accountable for what's inside. That's his locker. Go on, have a look. And what do you reckon? Is he your man? For the time being, where is the suspect? You see, he hasn't turned up for work for some time. This morning, when two thugs swung by looking for him, I knew he must be in trouble. I've overheard him many times talking about a place where he does car jobs on the side. Give me the precise location. I can't tell you exactly where it is. All I know is that it's one of the garages near the local storage compartments. Tell me why you think he is responsible. He's young, bright, and would like to rule the world. I get it. But nearly every month, he gets himself in trouble. It is not enough to make assumptions. I'm not a cop, but I've seen many things in my life. And where there's smoke, there's usually... Is he a temporary... You could say that. We fall out a lot because he brings a lot of hot stuff to the shop, and I'm not... And you let him come back. It's hard to make an honest living these days. But working here keeps him out of trouble. And to be frank, it's not... E Why did you cover for him? I can't watch it. Decent kid. Don't look at me like that. That is all. Hey! Make sure no harm comes his way. He might have done... A court of law will be... Stop shaking in your boots. Look, Robocop is here. We're safe. Citizen, I am ordering you to discontinue this deliberate act of vandalism. S screw you, man! So uh, what, what you gonna do? You, you can't put me behind bars. I, I'm still a kid and only done it once. J just let me off with a warning, will ya? It is my duty to warn you not to commit that or any violation again. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I, I'll do my best not to get caught again. Evening, officer. Are we poor? Dad? Dad? 
tired of your kids asking annoying questions? You just want to relax after a long day of work, but someone won't let you? Are we going to be okay? Dad, I'm scared. Snoozers. Sleeping pills for kids. Just one pill can guarantee five hours of peace. Nap time just became your new I heard your daughter was promoted to executive, huh? Why not ask her for help? I'd rather ask the devil. My daughter is cold and hot. Why? Oh, I'm telling you, officer. Dumpsters are like a bag of candies. You never know what you're going to get. Hey, me found my gun and teeth. What? Someone knocked out his teeth, including the gold one. He's For asking if anyone For some to learn how not to lose it. the track of time is to learn how not to lose their money. It's getting colder, and now we don't have anything for the fire! Uh, how was I supposed to know someone would steal our old tires? Oh, shit. Those are some nice-looking dentures. I hope they fit. Found the dumpster behind the mega store. I got fifteen bucks. Could you please keep the noise down? You're scaring off my customers. Can't hear you. Music's too loud. Good evening. Are those two men bothering you? First, they harass my customers. Then they threaten to burn down my shop. You need to do something about it, officer. 
What do you want, cop? Can't we have a little bit of fun? We did nothing wrong. Your volume control seems to be broken. Leave it! That's Let brand new! I've only stole... Thanks, officer. I always wanted to be a cop. I even applied to the academy, but it turns out that extensive criminal history and drug addiction prevent me from getting in. Help! Help! This rascal was trying to steal my cart. Look what he's done! Have I just wrecked your life savings? Tough shit, stinker. Antisocial behavior towards a fellow citizen can be classified as a crime. Lesson for the future, to save yourself the trouble. Clean up on the double. You can't do it. I was only messing. I could have just picked it all up. Hey, you tell him, robot man! What a fucking joke!
Littering is prohibited. What was I supposed to do? I've missed the garbage collection and we had fish on Friday. You have no idea how much it reeks. You violated the law. Oh, man. So I pay the city for not removing my garbage, and now I have to pay for removing it. The moral is... Congratulated you yet. He's my favorite TV star. <laughs> Thanks to you, Kurtz finally had a reason to watch something other than the fast food channel. I was merely doing my duty. That kind of hostile situation is not the only thing that... Can you tell me what happened? Nasty murder. The victim is a white female. Had a history of petty crime and prostitution, but uh, believe it or not, that's her real name. Any leads? The case is closed. OCP won't spend a single dime on... Cost optimization. Fancy name for we don't give a shit about poor... So if you were to look around the crime scene, you would potentially be exposing OCP to extra costs. <laughs> if you want to do that... Is that homeless man considered a suspect? Nah, we know the guy. You can. The guy's a loon, a mental patient. He thinks that. Talk to him if you want. Uh... <laughs> Do you have any? I bet the girl was killed somewhere. And we got the. I guess the perp had his head. Why does it always come back to food with you? The best way to. Tell me about it. Yeah. I will. Somebody dumped her a few feet from here. The blood traces on the ground indicate she was dragged. Nasty wound. Looks like she was hit with a blunt object, possibly a hammer. Her heels had to touch the ground when the body was dragged. That's this green-blue shit under her arm. No idea what it might be, but there is more of it around. That yeah, probably belonged to our victim. Let's try to find other clues. Poor Casey. Custom extended wheelbase. Have you seen a vehicle like this around? Nah. But that narrows it down significantly. Good catch, Robert. I can help you find the guy who dumped the body here. I saw him, but you must accept the truth. Tell me what you know. Uh, it's a simple... Alien. I've been investigating them for years. They send rats to spy on me. It's a list of aliens living in Detroit. Most likely a van with a custom extended wheelbase. 
Does your jackpot? I've got a guy with a van that a film set near the courthouse. They're shooting a TV commercial and it's run by aliens. Casey must have discovered something there and what is it's my tool? You'll find out some stuff like what? Take the moon land didn't happen. Why do you th who do you think run their stuff? Don't you know what? Why do you think th I saw the guy who I will very now the set.